Welcome to this week's transport video. Now, just a short one for you this week. Three things that are going to change the way you think about transport forever. And here they are. The first thing. A few weeks ago, European Aviation Safety Agency issued a worldwide regulation certification for an electric plane. Now, it's only a small two-seater train and aircraft, but it's the first in the world. The first of its aircraft of its type, powered just by an electric motor, no kerosene, anything, to be certified for flight. Now, it's not going to change the way that we get around day to day because it's for training purposes, but one of the most stringent regulators in the world, Yaza, has given this aircraft a license to go in the sky. And that's important because the likes of, well, the French aerospace bailout program, 15 billion euros, the 1.5 billion euros of that is going towards R&D for future flight. Hydrogen, biofuels, electric hybrid, all of these things. And this is all a valuable experience that Yaza has done and which it will share with people like the FAA, India's regulator, China's regulator, and so on and so on. This is how great things are regulated in a good way because they take small steps and they get there eventually. There we go. Second thing, electric boats. Now, uh, Denmark put the what is billed as the world's largest electric ferry, powered just by a battery, into the water 10 months ago. The Ellen, uh, powered by one large battery, fueled with uh, renewable power because Denmark's electricity grid is largely wind and solar. There's some gas and coal in there, but it's cleaner than a lot of places, Poland, Hungary, blah, blah, blah. Um, and 10 months later, it's got a clean bill of health. Passengers say they love it. There's no diesel fumes. It's quiet. Um, and also, most tellingly, after eight years or so, this ferry will have paid for itself compared to like a diesel version because it's more expensive to begin with, but there aren't the same operating costs. And that's what people, at the end of the day, want to know. Is it cheaper for me to buy a really expensive electric vehicle or not? Um, and as battery price prices come down, that's just going to get a more true argument. And as we know, shipping is an extremely difficult sector to decarbonize at the moment because shipping companies buy these vessels for 30 years. Um, they're not like a car where you get rid of them after 200,000 miles or something like this. They want a future-proofed transport option. Um, and there we go. If you tell a company that after a few years or so, they're going to be in the money, ka-ching. And the third thing is Germany's stimulus plan. Uh, which includes subsidies, increased subsidies for electric cars, and most tellingly, um, it doesn't include a cash for clunkers scheme, which they've used in the past to try and stimulate car purchases. That normally means that a consumer or motorist is paid a certain amount of money to get rid of their old car and buy a new one, regardless of what the new one is. And they basically didn't include that in the agreement. The, the socialists were dead against it. Um, even the Conservative government, ruling party government, probably saw evidence from the past which shows that it has very little economic impact and actually would increase emissions. Um, so think about that. The German government has basically said to its almighty car industry that the future is electric. And it's probably done that because it knows that the likes of Volkswagen, BMW, um, Daimler and so on are already going in that direction anyway, even if it is in hydrogen fuel cells or something instead as well. That's a real game changer for the car industry, really. It's not a single invention or anything like an electric plane, but it's pretty much saying that the days of the internal combustion engine are numbered. And that's it for this week. Um, thank you again to everyone who has spent even a little bit of money on your active crowdfunding. We really appreciate it. Um, and say goodbye to the hair. This is the last time you'll see it. Uh, and this is from Marlena, our video editor. Um, I'm not going to look like Jean-Luc Mélenchon anymore. Great. See you next week. Ciao.